Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I wanted to go over the differences between a trimmer F250, F350, and a non-trimmer F250 and F350. Um, so I'm gonna bring up the uh, Ford Super Duty towing guide and we'll go over a couple of things. So let's get started. 20 Super Duty trailer towing guide and the 2020 and the 2021 are exactly the same and i got this information right off of ford's website and i'll put a uh, link to it in the description so you guys can look at it if you want to um, i'm going to start off with the f-250s but i'm also going to do the 350s so as you can see right up here at the top left this is for conventional towing and uh, if you come down here to the bottom you can see where it says trimmer off-road package and right next to it, it says uh, three, that's the number three right there. And that's how you're gonna find it in this um, matrix over here. So right off the bat, if you look here, I put trimmer, um, just like so can highlight this one block here. So this is for a 7.3 liter V8 trimmer. And in the gas versions, the trimmers only come with a 430 gear. Um, they also do not come in a regular cab or a super cab, they only come in a crew cab. And that's the reason why this block, all these blocks are left blank. So if you come over here, you can see that uh, for a crew cab short box, the gas trimmer is 15,000 pound towing capacity. And also uh, just to note, the 6.2 liter V8 is not available in the trimmer. And again, we're only talking about trimmer models here. So going back over here, 15,000 pounds towing capacity and then if you look right under it this is a non-trimmer but this is also a 430 gear and it's also 15,000 pounds so for the gas models you don't lose any towing capacity with the 430 gear however if you come back over here you can get a gas non-trimmer and a 355 gear and you can see that will actually drop you down to 14,700. So you actually get a little bit more payload, I'm sorry, not payload, towing capacity um, with the 430 gear in a trimmer package. So now we're gonna move on to the gas, I'm sorry, the turbo diesel. So here's the 6.7 liter V8 turbo diesel. And in the turbo diesel, you can either get a 331 gear or a 355 gear. So you come over here, and again, you find your little three, which indicates the trimmer packages. And you can see in the 355 gear differential, you're getting a 15,000 pound for the trimmer package. Now, interesting enough, if you look here, this is a non-trimmer, that's a 20,000 pound. So in a turbo diesel, you're actually losing 5,000 pounds of tow capacity. The gas, you don't lose anything from trimmer to non-trimmer, but in the diesel trimmer to non-trimmer, you have a 5,000 pound difference. Also with the 331 rear gear, also in a trimmer, same thing. 20,000 for a non-trimmer, 15,000 for a trimmer. So again, you're losing 5,000 pounds of towing capacity. That's something that Something to consider for uh, the diesel guys, um, that if you do get the diesel and trailer package, you're giving up uh, about 5,000 pounds of towing capacity. For the gas, you're not giving up anything. So that's for the conventional towing. Now we're gonna move on to the fifth wheel. So, Sorry about that. So you can see up here we got the fifth wheel gooseneck and come down here we'll see the trimmer off-road package with the number three next to it. We'll come up here, 430 gear, everything's left blank because you can't get the trimmer configuration in a regular cab or a super cab. So we come over to a crew cab short box and here we go. So you can see 17,500 and 16,900. So that is for your trimmer and then for your non-trimmer and a 430 gear you're getting 18,700 18,600 so 
So you're losing, um, what am I about? 1200 pounds, 1100, 1100, 1200 pounds in there from a trimmer to a non trimmer when it comes to fifth wheel gooseneck. And this right here is the 7.3 liter gas with a 355 in it, non trimmer, 14,700. So that 430 gear actually gives you a big jump on your towing capacity. You can see uh, 18,000 to 14,000, so that's almost a 4,000 pound difference. And even in the trimmer model, you're getting, because of 430 gear, you're getting a higher uh, gooseneck fifth wheel towing capacity than even a non-trimmer over here. All right, so moving on to the 6.7 liter turbo diesel. Find our threes, which indicate the trimmers. So you can see here, um, 19,100, 18,100. This is for the 331 rear gear and the trimmer. And you can see that the non-trimmer, let me find this here. So here you go with the non-trimmer with the 331 rear gear, 14,700, 14,100. And then here with your trimmer, you go down to 12,100. So you can see you lose, you actually lose quite a bit from a non-trimmer to a trimmer in the 331 gear. However, if you stay with the 355, you're going to pick some capacity back up. You're back up to 18,100 as opposed to the 14,100 in the 331. So from a 331 to 355, you're picking up almost 4,000 pounds. But again, this red block box, these two sides over here with the three next to it are your trimmer towing capacities. All right, so now we're going to move on to the F350. So this is your conventional towing and if you notice down here the trimmer off-road package this time it's got an 8 next to it for the F350. So starting off with the gas, uh, you see they don't indicate a trimmer package in here because everything is 15,000 pounds. doesn't matter. And something to note is, is that uh, if you remember the F-250 gas is also 15,000 pounds. So there is no difference between a 250 and a 350. I have a theory on that and I have a video. If you uh, check my videos, I actually do uh, an F-250 and F-350 side by side, both with trimmer packages. So in the trimmer packages and only in the trimmer packages, the 250 and the 350 have the same leaf spring packs. There's no difference, and it's debated on the internet that the entire truck from a 250 and a 350 are exact same truck. The only difference is the, paying, uh, the payload and towing sticker on the inside of the door. And again, that's only with the trimmers. So that's my suspicion on why it's probably the same 15,000 pounds. Um, so if you move over to the F350 conventional towing with the 6.7, over here to the 8 where you can find so that way you know your trimmer package you can see it's also 15,000 and the non-trimmer right above it 20,000 again you're gonna lose 5,000 pounds and that's exactly the same as the F-250 so no difference so again diesel guys with the F-350 just know if you go to the trimmer package you're gonna lose that 5,000 pounds uh, in conventional towing Gas F-350 guys with the 7.3 stays the same. You don't lose anything. This is your trimmer. This is your non-trimmer. Same. All right, so let's move over to Gooseneck fifth wheel for the F-350. All right, so bottom left again, you can see uh, trimmer package is a six this time. And we're going to go to the gas, 430 gear, find the 6. So now we can see we have an 18,200 pound gooseneck 
and the non-trimmer model with the same 430 gear is going to be 20,100 so you're going to lose about 1900 pounds for the gas guys in this area here and you can see for a uh, F350 non-trimmer with the 373 here at 16,100 so the trimmer with the 430 is still going to beat a non-trimmer with the 373 and we'll move up to the 6.7 turbo diesel again we're going to find that 6 over here to indicate the trimmers and you can see a non trimmer with a 355 is a 22,000 pound towing capacity and you can see the trimmer models with the 355s are going to have a 21,900 you're not losing much and you also have this number right here I'm not real sure let's see 355 I don't know why there's so many numbers over here that does have a six next to it so it does say trimmer package 12,400 this one also has a six next to it which is 21,900 but I can imagine you're gonna drop down to that so I don't really know what this is I would guess it's probably this number up here. So this would be your non-trimmer up here, 22,000. This would be your trimmer. And that's with the 355 gear differential, rear, rear gear differential. And then up here is the trimmer with the 331, 21,900. And here is your non-trimmer with the 331, 22,000. So you're only losing 100 pounds in there. So that's basically your F-250, F-350 towing capacities with the trimmer packaging on there. And hopefully I explained that well enough. Um, clear as mud, right? Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the, the comments and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Um, I'm by all means not a tow guru and uh, know all these numbers in and out and all the other different you know criteria and all that kind of stuff but um, maybe some of the other guys that follow the channel can help answer some of those questions um, I didn't go over payload capacities and mainly the reason for that is is that the payload changes so much with the actual configuration of your truck the differences between an XL and a and a limited or King Ranch because all the options add I know in uh, in my uh, 7.3 liter trimmer, I'm, I think I remember adding a moonroof, lowered my payload capacity by like 200 pounds or something like that. I can't remember the exact number, but it was pretty substantial just adding that. And that's because everything that you add into the truck that has weight um, takes away from the payload. So the payloads are kind of all over the place, whereas um, the towing capacities pretty much are locked in with, depending on the your engine and your gear differential. So there you have it. Thanks for watching guys.